Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Final Upgrade, which is a factory builder in space that's kind of super intense, very, very complicated, very, very complex, very intricate, but also very, very interesting. Uh, right, let's jump into things. We'll turn off hints, we'll turn off tutorials, we'll play on normal because that is, frankly, uh, absolutely fine for my purposes. And uh, as ever, I will explain what the heck is going on, and hopefully we're going to be able to have a little bit of fun along the way. So, the first thing to bear in mind is that this game, this game is in, well, it's in two dimensions, I guess. Well, technically it's in three dimensions, but for our for our purposes, it's in two dimensions. Um, and that's fine. That's absolutely totally fine, uh, because all of the automating will be done very, very much like this. So what have we got? This is our ship here. Uh, we've got a research station over here. We've got a whole bunch of walls. We've got a storage area. Area. Um, I can illustrate the, the storage area. Uh, there we go. We got two storage area areas, one for iron ore, one for iron. Very, very important. Uh, we've got the core over here, and then we've got a whole bunch of batteries and whatnot. Core doesn't really matter. Uh, we've also got a little robot down at the uh, bottom here, which is fine. You know, happy days. Uh, we only have one robot, though, so I'd kind of like to get more. That will help out a whole bunch. The robots basically build stuff, as you can see. I'm also going to queue up a whole bunch of additional research stations, as we might as well. They literally only require uh, iron to build. So we've got plenty of iron, and I'd very, very much like to see all of that happen. Uh, we'll increase the speed up at the top here, and then we will get to building. So first order of business. Well, we want to increase our production capability as much as possible. Building more robots will sort that. We also want to increase the speed at which we're able to do research. That will sort that. What we need to sort immediately is an ability to process raw iron ore into fully fledged iron. Uh, so we're going to go and do that. Now, the tech tree is absolutely bonkers. It is insane. Uh, it's huge. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, we basically have three tiers of technology. We've got tech package one, we've got tech package two, and we've got tech package three, four. I mean, you get the picture. It's all more complicated stuff. Very, very easy. Anyway, if we go into, no, if we go into uh, tech package one, uh, we can choose some specific techs that we want to unlock. Iron ore mining is exactly something that I would like to unlock. So let's queue up that. Uh, we also want to get the extractor. That's very, very important. So we'll queue up that. And then that's going to allow us to extract from a whole bunch of different other things. And we are going to queue up iron extraction. Now, it's, it's a massive big tree. Um, but you can only see like very, very specific bits of it uh, at a time. So it's it's huge. It's it's absolutely huge. It is absolutely huge. Anyway, um, we'll unlock a whole bunch of tech over the course of time. Uh, we've unlocked the ability to, or we're working on the ability to, to build an extractor, which I am going to relish the opportunity to utilize. And of course, as we build more and more and more uh, research stations, we're going to get faster and faster research. Very, very simple. Right. What else have we got going on here? Well, we've got pneumatic tubes. This is the primary way that things will get moved around if they're not being utilized by robots, for example. It's cool. It's very, very cool. You can actually see the areas where um, the resources are sucked into the tubes at the bottom here. There you go. You can see they literally are moved. They're moved around. Uh, and we will be utilizing this space for well, something which you'll see very, very soon. And we'll also be using this space in the walls for the extractor, uh, which we can actually build probably right about now. Right, in machines, extractor, there we go, happy days. Okay, so we build that, and suddenly, bada bim, bada boom, we should be able to select it, and we can order a specific, a specific thing to be produced here. We are going to be using iron extraction. There we go. Iron extraction is going to work. Fantastic. Right. So we're now set up. We're now set up to turn iron ore into iron right here. Happy days. We're in a good place. There's a couple of other things that we need to do. First and foremost, um, we, need to, we need to actually get some iron ore. And in order to do that, we literally just do a little drag and drop. Our robots will go and mine us some uh, iron ore very, very handily. And they should be able to mine that. Look at that. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous system. Looks lovely. Uh, and they're literally just going to place it place it in here. It's going to get sucked along. Now, um, what we need to do is we actually need to change the configuration. We need to change the configuration of this pneumato tube. It's a bit loud, but hey-ho. Anyway, the point is, is that we've, um, we can change any of these, the inputs and the outputs on any side. And what do you know, just like that, 
uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be getting ourselves iron. And as you can see, the way that it's sort of set up, uh, everything sort of bumps into everything else, and it's very very it's very very cool. It's very very cool indeed. It looks it looks really really great. Um, right. So what do we need to do now? Well, uh, we need to do a whole bunch of stuff. We need to do a whole bunch of stuff. We need to we need to go into you know like six times speed. I want to fill up the entire cargo hold with a whole bunch of uh, iron ore. It's gonna be it's gonna be handy once we once we jump around a little bit and see what we've got going on. I also probably want to do some more research. The construction cannon, for example, is very very handy, and we're going to be requiring that for a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, but I should note that at the bottom here, uh, we've got a little, uh, well, it's a little counter, actually. We've, we start with 40,000 total memory. Uh, we have got 32,600 going down, I would note, uh, as our research is going up. Uh, we have a total capacity. We have a total capacity of memory. Um, so we need to be careful that we don't run out of space, because if we run out of space, then we're not going to be able to research anymore. So far, so good. We're all on the same page together. Good. I'm glad, because um, this is where things get, this is where things get funky. Uh, there's a whole bunch of buttons down the side here, which I guess I can talk about briefly. We've got the map. Uh, we've got routes, which we don't need to worry about right now. Ships and stations list, also don't need to worry about. We've got the tech tree. Uh, we've got blueprints. That's kind of cool and noteworthy. Mo uh, modules. We'll experiment with that in just a second. We've got the build menu, which we've already been in and out. Uh, we've got resource zones, which we've already talked about. Uh, we've got colonies, which we don't have any of yet, but again, we will have soon indeed. Energy stats, don't care. Uh, don't care at all. Uh, factions aggression level. Uh, yeah, so you can go to war in this game. I don't actually think that it's necessary. I know that that sounds kind of insane to say, but, um... It's not necessary. Anyway, I, I think it's entirely optional, in fact. Cool. Right, so this is the map. Uh, each and every star system has got a, a, a bunch of different planets. Let's go over to here. Uh, what we're going to do once we're over here, we're actually going to claim the sector. And I believe, there we go, that that's automatically going to mean that the ship jumps across and it's actually managed to turn around, which is kind of interesting. Um, and this is where we get our first experience of a colony, even though it's, well, it looks like a lava planet below. Um, it is, it is kind of cool. Right, so again, also our memory, our memory increased, our memory increased. Look at that, our total memory increased by 17,000, uh, which is kind of nice. Anyway, uh, what we want to do right here is we want to build a station. Now, very, very simple setup. Very, very simple setup. Uh, we build the station, and this is going to allow us to build whatever resource we want to actually build. You can see, you can see... Uh, down in the bottom left-hand corner here, what the planetary resource actually is. So you can see that iron ore is produced on this planet, and I think if you if you look very closely, yeah, there we go. If you look very closely, you can actually see that there is a a little. I don't know if that's a mining laser or a elevator thing, but anyway, there is some way of getting those resources up to uh, up to the up to the platform here. And what we can do is we can actually say, hey, uh, you're gonna produce you're gonna produce iron ore for us. Um, input of of coolant, uh, which I believe is optional. Uh, output of iron ore. Happy days. Let's build. Let's build this station. We drag the flagship across to there, uh, but we actually can't until we build the construction cannon. The construction cannon is going to allow us to accelerate um, construction of anything, but we can, I guess, build with robots, so that's not necessarily a problem. Anyway, we're utilizing all of this iron ore, and this is just a, a sort of carbon cutout cookie cutter station. Literally, it's got all the things that we could possibly need. It's got a whole bunch of batteries. It's got a whole bunch of everything. We'll also build that construction cannon. The construction cannon is very, very handy because it allows the it allows the ship to also to also build here, uh, which is kind of nice. I would like to do a local jump just to move this ship away ever so slightly so that we can get ourselves so that we can get ourselves uh, a little bit more of an overview. Right. So um, I would like I would like to I would like to select as the output for this station iron. I would like to place an extractor. Right. Um, this is not. There's, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this, by the way, but um, we'll do this, we'll do it this way for now. Let's do a local jump over to here, and we'll, we'll just jump back. Um, we'll also power this station. There we go. We'll put everything that we've got into the station. There we go. And we'll also build, we'll also build this in just a second. There we go. It's going to need to move in order to do it, but that's fine. 
and everything should get built. So again, it's going to be a very sort of similar, very similar sort of setup. And you can see that it's happening before our very eyes. We're going to have an extractor here. The resources are going to come right out of the station core. And boom, what do you know? It's going to get turned into into iron ore. Uh, right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, I'm going to build a module. I'm going to build a module on this station. Now, there's a whole bunch of different modules that we can actually choose to build. Um, there's like multiple different extractor loads. There's solid storage. I mean, we are going to be utilizing solid storage for this, for this here. Uh, and we will hopefully be able to build that uh he says with a degree of confidence there we go construct the wall you want to you want to do it for me there we go don't know why it didn't want to work uh did not know why it didn't want to work before but anyway look at that we have now managed to get ourselves a iron production facility which is kind of nice and we can actually say i mean well we can we can pick up we can pick up this iron as much as we as much as we want uh, and in fact if we were to jump Local jump right to there. If we move around a little bit, boom. What do you know? Literally a docking port. Literally a docking port to get iron, as much iron as we possibly want to. Now, this is kind of interesting, right? This is kind of interesting. Um, because we can produce as much iron as we possibly want to. And in fact, there's even this little there's even this little tech tree that, that goes alongside everything here. Uh, but this is just the planetary resource. But we also need to bear in mind that there is also a colony. Now, there's a colony, I believe, on every world. It, I don't know why. I don't know how people live on this lava world. I, I don't get it. Station. I, I guess it's a station. I guess it's a lava world. It's a station. Anyway, uh, they have... They have a demand. They have a, a demand. And we can actually level up the colony. We can get a... We can get a huge number of colonists if we want to. Um, how do I get? How do I get? Uh, how do I get coolant? Well, I'll tell you. We need to do a whole bunch of stuff. We need to do oil harvesting. Let's slow down a little bit. We need to do oil harvesting. We need to do tech package two. We need to do water harvesting. We need to get a refinery, and then finally, we're going to be able to get coolant from water. The technology to refine water into coolant. Now, if we are able to do that, that is going to allow us to increase the size of the colony. Uh, how on earth I can do that, I have no idea. Let's go and claim this. Let's go and claim this next uh, this next sector. Tell a lie. I obviously do know how to do it. It's just whether I have the capability to do it. Oh, look at that. We're going to... We're, we came along to the next uh, sector, and what do you know? Uh, there's water here. Hey, hey, hey. It's almost like I planned that. Also, station over here wants explosives. That seems a little sussy to me. Hmm... Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can see, actually, by the way, uh, population of colonies is now at 50,000. That's kind of intense. That's kind of intense stuff. Anyway, let's set uh, water to be the output. Um, do I want to? No, I don't want to do that. Let's just build. Let's build first. Build first, and then we can worry about the, uh, the details in just a second. Oh, goodness gracious me. Anyway, as you can see, I hope you can probably... I hope you can get... Uh, I hope you can get a full understanding of exactly how bonkers this game actually is uh, and just how unbelievably complex it is. We haven't even discussed any of the the, the building of, of ships yet. We haven't discussed trade routes. We haven't discussed any of that nonsense. And we're getting there. Don't you worry. We're getting there. Uh, but I feel like whatever I'm... Whatever I'm going to say about this game, I'm not actually going to be able to do it justice. However, I mean, look, you can check it out. You can check it out. It's linked down below... Um, down below in the comments and it's a pretty good pretty good value game for what you get if uh, if you ask me anyway uh we're going to extract water but we need to turn it into coolant so we're gonna have to wait for the refinery um can we actually get if i go into modules here whoops if i go into modules here do we have the opportunity to build a module refinery two samplers two extractors no um i don't think so i don't think we have a refining I don't think we have a refining module. Let's just get tech tree, coolant from water. We're working on it now. Do we get anything else? Electricity from uranium. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love, I love a little bit of electricity from uranium, but I guess we'll see. Right. Okay. Coolant from water. Right. There we go. Output resource coolant. It appears there. Let's place. Let's place the next thing that we need. Uh, nope, wrong core. 
There we go. We'll construct that one. Look at the construction cannon going to work. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stuff. Excellent. Anyway, this is how we're going to do it. Oh, we need to... We need to zap you with a little bit of... A little bit of energy over there. Uh, we are running a little bit low on the old... On the old energy. I maybe should... Maybe should do something about that. Anyway, uh, what else do we have? What else do we have to bear in mind? Well, um, we need to get a pipe over to here. Uh, can I get... If I go into modules, can I get a liquid storage module? I can get a multi-liquid storage module. Uh, I don't think I can do a regular liquid storage module. Is there a thing that I can do for that? Uh, liquid... Oh, goodness gracious me. This is where... This is where things start to... This, this is where things start to get complicated. Tank T1. Oh, thank goodness we found it. Okay, let's get that... Let's get that researched. Get that researched. Get that researched. Go, 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 go. Excellent. Tech is unlocked. We can actually just place that directly. Fantastic. You know what? Forget my little... Forget my little experiment beforehand. Okay, don't forget my little experiment beforehand. There we go. Beautiful. And we'll get that. And we'll build another tank as well. That's good. That is very, very good. Okay, so we should be able to... There we go. I can delete that. I can delete that. Do I need to assign that to be deleted? Whatever. It doesn't particularly matter. Look, here's the here's the good news. The good news is, is that we've got coolant. We've got coolant, which is fantastic. Now... Uh, I am gonna do... I'm gonna do a little thing here. Uh, we're gonna build ourselves... We're gonna build ourselves a transport ship. I know, I know, I know. Right, so, uh, we can go into... Where is it? Uh, is it blueprints? Yeah, it is blueprints here. Um, this is, this is not the, this is not the ship that we need. We need a different type of ship. I don't know why it comes up with this one. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of ships that we can get, uh, immediately, and there's a couple that we're gonna need to, to get later on. Look at, look at how complicated this looks. Looks, I mean, it's absolutely insane. Uh, and there's a whole bunch of them. Look at the, an ammo carrier, energy carrier, tier two, combat spaceship, rocket combat spaceship. These are all the blueprints. No, you know, not to mention the fact that you can actually build your own, um, which is, which is pretty freaking interesting. Anyway, uh, the transporter that is going to be suitable for the job is going to be this one. This has got a whole bunch of liquid transports. This is a basic, this is a basic ship. Don't get me wrong. It, it literally is a basic ship. It is a basic ship. Uh, we were going to select iron, and we are going to do it uh, over here. That's fine. Transporter, that's A-OK. -okay. Let's set this to be constructed, and let's get it built. Okay. And we should have enough iron. We might not have enough iron. If we don't, then we are going to do something about that. And let me tell you what we're going to do about it. We're going to jump back to here. There we go. And we're going to do a nice little local jump jump right over to here and we're going to load up unbelievably quickly with all of this iron that we have accrued here. You can sort of see the power of exactly what I'm going for. Now, uh, the other thing to bear in mind is that we can actually and we probably will end up doing it. Uh this is Do I want to change this around a little bit? If I do that, that will allow me to store ever so slightly more. Yeah, that'll allow me to store ever so slightly more. Anyway, it doesn't particularly matter. Let's jump back and let's continue our let's continue our building. Okay. Right. There we go. Jump over here. Beautiful. I do need to fix I do need to fix my energy situation. I do not want to run out of energy, but I would like to get this. I'd like to get this sorted first. Now, let's hope that I have the mental fortitude to figure out how to get the get the system uh, get the system properly done. Right, we're going to go coolant, copy to all. There we go. Beautiful. And that is that is that. Right, okay. So, coolant loaded here. Uh, we're also going to go... What is it? It's whatever Roots is. Resource zones, colonies. No, Roots are this. Yeah, so we're going to do a route of coolant. Excellent. Between here and here. 
um, batch, whatever, that's fine. We are happy with that. There we go. And hopefully, we just do uh, auto logic. We do transporter. And hopefully that works. Hopefully that works. Hopefully it works. I don't know. I don't know how soon. I don't know how soon any of the uh, any of the ships will go, but I guess we shall. I guess we shall see. Um, yeah, we'll we'll see if that ends up working. God, I I. I hope it works. Root already exists. Yeah, let's let's hope that it does. Let's hope that it does. Uh, yeah, it should just, it should jump around a little. Oh, I tell you what, it definitely won't jump around without energy. Transfer a whole bunch of energy across there. There we go. That's, that's potentially what the issue is. Oh, fantastic, it actually jumped. Oh, brilliant. I'm delighted. Okay, um, let's jump over here. Aha! Good stuff. Fantastic. Okay. Um, and look, look at the, look at that, look at that. The coolant is actually being delivered. You can see that this is the demand for coolant, and it should, it should hopefully decrease. It's decreasing. Look at that. Look at that. The population of our colonies is increasing tremendously. Oh boy, that's beautiful. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Okay, uh, now we only need to cure this massive energy issue that we are that we are having. Um, let's go. Let's go to this sector and let's claim this one now. I want to bet that oil is going to be produced here. That is exactly what I thought was going to be produced. Anyway, uh, here's my here's my secondary bet. Uh, I bet that there is going to be a technology that allows us electricity from oil. Who'd have thunk it, eh? Who'd have thunk it? It's almost like good old Orbital has tried to mostly set up an order of operations that will work for <laughs> for this. Anyway, uh, we're running very very low. Very, very low on, on this here. Right, um, so yeah, there is a couple of different colony demands. We can actually see the demands, I believe, from the uh, from the map here. Uh, you can also see that we have reached the fullest extent of what this star system is. Uh, if we're going to be going to the next star, then, you know, we'd have to move systems. And there's no guarantee, by the way, uh, that on any given system that... There we go. Uh, that it's that it's claimable. Um, we may very well not have the ability to do that. Uh, what do you need? Resource supply tasks plus 1.5 million population plus memory. If we get you, what is that? An iron copper composite? That's that's a problem for a different a different potato. I really don't care. I really really don't care. Right. Um, let's go power generator here. Output from oil. Yep. We'll get that set up over there. Unless there's a module that gives us more power generators. I don't think there is. No. No, that's fine. And then let's get... Can't drag that. Have to drag this. Brilliant. Let's, uh, let's get constructing here. Are we perhaps going to run out of iron? Oh, what a swizz. What a, what a total, total swizz. Let's go... Here. Jump to sector, jump to there, and we'll do a cheeky little local jump again, right to there. Beautiful. Fill up with all of our lovely, lovely resources. Again, it would be it would be entirely possible, and we may end up doing it, um, where we set up a where we set up an iron trading route. What am I doing? I'm gonna go jump to here. Brilliant. Fantastic, and we can continue the construction here. Excellent. Yeah, so we can we can select a ship to, to bring us iron if we wanted to do that. But for now, let's let's get what's let's get let's get focusing. Right. Um, I think we probably want to get another power generator here. There we go, and let's get another power generator over here sure the ship moves automatically which is kind of nice and let's get that let's get that all constructed okay nice so 
Uh, let's also get ourselves a battery bank, a battery module. We can get a small battery module, a big battery module. I don't think a big battery module is actually required. I think I'm content to just have a small one. But the point of this, the point of this will become very, very clear very, very quickly. It's going to take quite a lot of iron for us to, to get it all up. But, I mean, we're at two times speed at the moment, but we could be in one time speed. And you can clearly see that we are generating quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of oil, which is nice. Also, look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Our, our transporter ship decided to jump all the way over here to automatically fill up on a whole bunch of energy. How, how handy is that? That is very, very handy, in fact. Right, um, what I'm going to do is I am going to select energy transfer. There we go. Transfer all the energy possible. And I think... I think what I'm going to do is I might actually just... I might actually just renege on exactly what I said I was going to do and just build, like, a much bigger energy storage facility. There we go. We probably will not have the iron for this, but I'm going to do it nonetheless. There we go. Yeah. Um, let's jump. Let's jump back to here. Jump back to here and fill up yet again. Genuinely. I mean, I could be doing this all at like 75, 75 times speed. Believe it or not, you can actually do, you can actually do 75 times speed. And it's entirely, entirely possible. And in fact, perhaps advisable in even some instances. Right. So, that's looking good. Happy days. Let's get all of this constructed. Brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, and then we're going to take everything. We're going to take everything that this station has. And that's going to fill us back up to 100%. Look at that. Look at that. And all from oil that is being naturally produced. Literally right here. How cool is that? So, um, what we need to do now, what we need to do now is if we go back into blueprints for our ships, again, shows the real scale of what we can do here. Uh, what we can actually do is we can get, we can get, uh, it is this energy carrier ship, Mark 1. Uh, energy carrier tier 1. Let's build this. It looks crazy. It's really not that crazy. I mean, none of these little little arm things are, are, in, are necessary at all. Uh, but I'm going to build it nonetheless. I'm going to say uh, energy carrier T1, whatever, T exclamation mark. That's fine. I accidentally clicked the button. So I guess that is my, that is my penance. The penance is that we have to deal with, <laughs> we have to deal with that. Anyway, right. Let's, let's get this built. We might just have enough iron. We do not. Um, that's fine. We can just go just jump back jump back one more time i mean it'll, it'll literally be the last time that we need to do it there we go okay good stuff and finish building finish building the ship now this is where my memory is perhaps going to do we need to do it again really Uh, I tell you what I should do. I should build a. I should get a. I should get a ship to. I should get a ship to bring me iron ore, or, or a refined iron. Actually, there's. I guess there's no reason not to. Uh, hold on, back to here. Uh, get you to jump, jump to sector, jump to there. Brilliant. Let's go. Okay, and finally, let's get this ship. Let's get this ship 100% built. Beautiful. Okay, that is that is great. Happy days. Now. Um, I am going to get you to fill up the energy ship fully. Then we are going to go auto logic, energy carrier. And I think, I think that it should actually just work. Um, I may be wrong in that. I may be wrong in that. It may, it may not, um, but we'll see. Right. Okay. So if I need energy, I hope it's going to deliver to me. It may very well not. I may be very, very wrong about that assertion, but you never know. Anyway, um, what I'm going to try and do here is I am going to try and build another ship, which is going to be... 
A transporter? Yeah, just a regular transporter. That's fine. That's fine. Let's build this. This is this is going to be flipping crazy. Honestly, I have no idea how we're going to be able to do this. Let's build this. Yep. Build this over here. Are we out of iron? No. Oh, what a what a shame. Uh, let's move this. This stores iron ore. It doesn't store iron ore. It stores iron. There we go. Okay, well, that's automatically beaming it right into my, uh, right into my storage. Well, that's nice. I didn't know, I didn't know that that was, that that was happening. Anyway, um, right. What we would like to do, auto ship logic, transporter. What about restocking? Restock. Does it restock? Okay. Well, that's nice. I suppose. Um, auto logic transporter. I think it should. I think it should work. I think it should fill me up. Um, what are you doing? I don't think. I don't think you're working. I don't think. I don't think. It, I don't think it was working. Okay. Um, but you do fill up with you do fill up with iron. Well, it's either going to follow me and it's going to bring me more iron, or it's not going to do that. In which case, well, then that's that's just this tough, I suppose, isn't it? Anyway, um, we need to get more copper. I am going to do I'm going to do a little jump on my flagship right over to here, which is going to get us moved around a little bit, which is going to be great. We're going to claim this sector, and what do you need? You want gears, okay? Well, I don't care about your gears. I care about the fact that you produce copper ore. And I would like to get copper extraction. And maybe even iron copper composite. Sure, let's do it. On the way, we can get copper extraction. That's that's fine too. Right. Um, you do copper ore. We can't get it quite yet. But it's okay if we go into 75 times speed research. We can literally blast through all of our research. Kind of just like that. It's just that simple. Right. Let's go extractor. Beautiful. Over there. Let's go and get it. Let's say, ooh, interesting. You can make you can make the composite. That's kind of cool. Uh, the output is going to be copper for now, but I think, to be honest, we're going to just get another module. We're going to get a solid storage. Oh, my energy carrier is turned up to replenish the station. Look at that. Well, at least something works. That's good news. That should disappear. Get that in there. Oops. Construct this. Excellent. Oh. I think the ship disappeared and it came back with more... With more iron. Well, that's good news. Okay, uh, we've got copper here. Excellent. I'm also going to set up... I'm also going to set up the ability to do... There we go. Set up the ability to do uh, to do this. Iron copper composite. Compositor. Do we need iron in order to make this work? We may very well need iron to make this work. I mean, an iron copper composite, I suppose, does... I mean, it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? It really does. Right, okay. Good. Uh, so yeah, we're getting copper. Let's get a let's get a blueprint. A transporter is exactly what we need. Let's build this. We'll do. Yeah, that's fine. But we'll build it. Transporter, beautiful, excellent. Full time speed. Oh, okay. I don't know where it's getting this iron from, but clearly. It's, it's able to magically go back and forth. It may very well be getting it from the base, or it may be being re restocked by the ship. Um, it doesn't actually it doesn't actually particularly matter. It's fine. Right, let's change you to copper. Excellent. Uh, that's nice. You are also set up for copper as well. That's good too. Uh, I think... What do you need, by the way? Compositor... Yeah, you need iron. You need iron ore. So, let's go and get a solid storage for... Iron ore, there we go, and not iron ore, sorry. Not iron ore at all, iron. 
trade mode on. Yep, happy days. And let's build this. Oops, nope. There we go. Build that. You don't want to. You don't want to do it. We also need to set this ship up to go auto logic transporter, and then we want to go into routes copper here to here. Right? I think. Will that work? There we go. Copper is being beamed in appropriately. I go into two times speed and then zoom out here or go back onto the map. Then flick back here. We should be able to see copper arrives. Happy days. And is your copper demand going to go down? I have no idea. It is. I think that I think we're doing it. There we go. We're actually doing it. Look at that. The population of the colonies is increasing. How satisfying is that? Let me tell you, tremendously satisfying. Tremendously satisfying indeed. Right, let's get this let's get this built here. Let's get this built. It's working. It's actually working. It's it shocked even me. It shocked even me. Right, so if I go to map again, and then we go iron production here. Yeah, yeah, hold on. This this is set as a auto logic transporter. Yep, beautiful. And then we go roots. Where the heck are you going? Iron to here. Excellent. It should work. This is coolant. I don't need you for coolant. Iron? Iron is in. Iron is in. Oh my lordy, we have it. We have it. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, right. We're making the resource. That's great. Can I get Can I get another another output, please? Uh, we need modules. The transporter is here. Great. Happy days. Let's go solid storage. Beautiful. Let's get that built. Excellent. We actually, we actually freaking did it. We actually freaking did it. Look at that. Look at that. That is, that is exactly what we need. Right, let's do a little cheeky local jump. Uh, then let's go and check out another one of these transports. Build it. Build it here. Excellent. And let's do it. So you can see, at the same time as being unbelievably complicated, it's actually unre unbelievably rewarding when stuff happens. You know, like we've got our... We've got our, our energy carrier stuff. It's it's very, very cool, in fact. Uh, let's say you want to transport iron copper composite. That's good. Uh, it should actually refill automatically. But if I go into iron copper composite from here to here. Why don't you want to work? Iron copper composite. Select a station with reserves. Yeah, this is a station with reserves. Oh, we might not be able to if we're already if we're already outputting copper. That may be a problem. That shouldn't be the case, right? Autologic transporter. Iron copper composite zero out of 180. I mean There we go. Okay, well. I think it I think it did it. I think it I think it absolutely did it. Well, let's see. I guess if we if we see that number decrease then uh, then I guess that means it works. Otherwise, um it probably it probably hasn't. Uh, the point that I'm trying to make, this game is is flipping complicated. It absolutely is. But I mean, once you get once you get all of the once you get all of the moving pieces together, I mean it's freaking cool. I mean, is this not the most, is this not the most satisfaction, the most unbelievably cool stuff that you can see happening? And it's very, very cool indeed. It really, really is. We haven't even gotten into sort of, you know, ship customization or or battling it out. I mean, we've literally just pootled around in, you know, what, like five, five planets for like, you know, 30 minutes. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, it really, really is. And again, look at that. Our copper demands are, they're not even, they're not even being satisfied. So there's definitely like a whole bunch of scale that we really could end up leveling up. Um, what on earth is happening with our, oh, I see. Are you delivering copper? 
Are you delivering copper? Is that what it is? The other transport is delivering copper. Whatever the case, it doesn't particularly matter uh, because we're going to wrap things up. Uh, final upgrade, ladies and gents. I would recommend checking it out. If you're a fan of automation games, space automation games, factory builders, etc., this is a curious one. It's a very curious one. It's very, very cool indeed. Uh, and I think... Thank you very much. Uh, I think... It's uh, it's definitely it's definitely worth your worth your overview if you're indeed interested. As I say, we barely scratched the surface, but uh, but I'm definitely uh, glad that I had the opportunity to check uh, to check this game out because it's fantastic, fantastic and very cool. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. I've been able to update check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. But for now and from me, I'll see you next time. Bye.